What's up, homies? Two for T's back. It's another good day. So many mosquitoes out, I can't deal with this for much longer. It's, they, they love my chocolate blood. I don't understand why, but anyway. Uh, today, I'm taking the oil pan out the car. Let me just show you guys how I'm doing so real quick. First, you know, just got the car jacked up on an angle to help drain the oil. Uh, Sorry I don't have the flash on, but you know, pan full of oil. I'm gonna try to jack the car up. Uh, I took the took the uh, motor mount bolts out. I have solid motor mounts with aluminum inserts, so I kind of just took out the metal rod that goes through them. And now I'm just waiting for the oil to drain. So, you know, hopefully this goes well. Uh, I should be able to jack up the engine a decent amount once I put the stands underneath the car. So. I'm gonna jack it up some more, put the stands underneath, and then get a block to jack up to, to the bottom of the oil pan. Or I might actually put it behind the transmission so I can jack up the tranny, jack the engine up a little bit so I can use a small, small ratchet to get to those bolts on the oil pan. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it goes well. And then let me show you what oil pan I'm actually using. I'm not modifying that one. Cousin actually, once again, in the basement, extra good. Uh, oil pan for the KA with with surprisingly a freaking oil bung already attached to it put some Teflon tape on it uh, screwed it tight make sure it's airtight but yeah it actually makes my job a lot easier I just take my oil pan off and then I just put this one on put some uh, gasket around it some silicone gasket and then bolt her up and hopefully she'll be mint so this is what I'm gonna be using Nice little cool color. This actually matches my uh, cousin's valve cover, so it's kind of like we're twinning a little bit, you know. It matches his valve cover, so I think that's pretty sick. That's actually more of the reason why I want to use it, because it's kind of multicolored, you know. It's something a little funky, something a little different, so. Let me do this, get the oil pan off. Hopefully, once I transition to the next part of this video, the oil pan will be off, so stay tuned. I got it out, guys. I have no idea how I managed to do this, but I mean, I didn't think I was able to do it, but I, I got it. Check this out. Look at this crap, yo. I actually got it out. I'm very surprised. You know, I, uh, whatchamacallit, jacked it up. These are the mounts I was talking about. Polyurethane mounts with uh, aluminum inserts. Check them out on eBay, pretty dope. Pretty good, actually. I would I'd recommend these to anyone that wants some solid motor mounts that doesn't want literal like solid metal motor mounts aluminum insert adds a little bit of sturdiness to the polyurethane but anyway got it out guys engine's looking fairly healthy like i mean i really this is the first time i'm actually ever looking inside of my engine ever but she's it's looking pretty healthy the sump not damaged i took my time and got the oil pan out because i did not want that sump to be bent or anything because then I have a whole nother problem, but now I just got to clean off that surface, all the old uh, rubber silicone gasket crap, and then I'm going to put that other oil pan on. Man, I'm pretty proud of myself with this. Hope you guys are smiling, seeing, seeing the guts of Goldilocks. That's what I call the engine, if no one remembers, the golden valve cover. But yeah, guys, popping. So let me clean up all this stuff the surface I'm gonna get a razor blade and just take my time clean up all the crap get some silicone gasket and put the other oil pan on uh, I'm not gonna put oil on in it because I don't have the return line yet so I just have a opening so I pour the oil in the valve cover and then it would just drip out so once I put this on I'm probably gonna keep all that oil right there leave it inside of the garage so once I get all the parts I can just hook everything up and then reuse that oil because that's pretty uh that's brand new oil pretty much so uh yeah guys actually uh it came out very well so you know it was it was a lot easier just anyone that's doing a ka or anyone that's doing an oil pan or anything just please take your time that's all it is if you take your time you are saving yourself several upon several of minutes you know once you start struggling and stuff that's when you get frustrated and that's when it seems like it's never going to come out but that's how i was for like the first 10 seconds and i was like wait a minute just orientated it, turned it to the side, and then it literally just fell right out underneath the sway bar. I was like, holy crap. Of course, I jacked it up with the block transmission, but now my mounts are out, so I have to do all this 
and try to get those mounts back in so all right let's get to it guys we'll be back I'm laying down it's hot as balls and I finished the thingy so let me show you guys using my front facing camera it's like selfie with my car <laughs> but yeah oil pans on it's hard to videotape with the front facing camera but yeah look at that oil bung right there about to get some teflon tape put that nut back on it was kind of in the way but yeah guys look at that uh all nice and done took quite a while oh my goodness Ugh. look at that that sleeper can't even tell where the intercooler is <laughs> but that's done now so yeah i'm actually not going to use that oil right there i'm not going to use it it's i found it looked like it has some like metal shavings or some bull crap in it got some new oil in the garage going to use that i don't even know why i was thinking i was going to use that but yep all good guys now it's just oil lines and then i can start her up so that was it that is it for today's video be on the lookout for the next video as soon as i get those oil lines i will let you guys know by making a video and posting it or follow me on instagram i'm gonna put a link in the description to my instagram so i can stop saying at t-o-o.f-o-r-t-e-a because no one seems to get that or no one wants to <laughs> follow me on instagram so yeah oil pan's done Going to junk that oil, get rid of that pan, and stay tuned for more, homies. Wow.